We are now in Grand Place, or a big market, Grote Markt, uh, of Brussels. So I'm making a part of a hyperlapse of Brussels, and I will show you how, just follow me. I take photo, then I move, I make step, then I take another photo, then I make step, another step, and then I make another photo. The result will be a video that will give you feeling that you are moving in time and place, like, like that you are flying. Now I will show you the result in just like two seconds. One, two, three. Two years ago, I got um, a gift check from the university. All my friends say to me, just buy iPhone, buy iPad or something. But I thought like to buy a camera because I believe that I can do something with it and can change something with the world with it. The hyperlapse of Ghent it reached like more than 1 million people in 12 days from around the world. Uh, I got messages from uh, Vietnam, from China, from Australia, America, and they all asked me like, what is Ghent? Is it a place? <laughs> so I had, I had to explain that it's city and uh, it's, it became international. I came five years ago, so there was no war, nothing. A story that I remember it was actually safe, easy life. Almost everyone has work. People go every weekend for a barbecue. But because of the war, you know, everything can be changed. Maybe I'm lucky that I came to here suddenly and war happens when I'm not there. The next hyperlapse will be as respect for my new home, for Belgium. At least what I can do for this country is just to make uh, that, uh, that I participate in something and make movies, make advertisement. Let's say party, you can do it all, all the time. But to make a nice movie about city, about a new home, it's something more important than checking your timeline. <laughs> it's a bit asocial, but the result was great and for everyone. It's a new day, it's a new life.